everyone, this is Mrs. Burning with another video about phonics. Um, today we're going to shift our attention from the reading portion to the writing portion of phonics. So I'm going to show you what we've been working on, and that is taking the letters that we write um, and reading them and making the sounds. So we have this letter, k, this consonant with this vowel, a, t. So we take these letters, we say the sound that matches them, and we blend the letter sounds to read the word. We're going from the visual to the auditory and speaking the word. So. We can do this in a couple of different ways, by saying each of the sounds for each letter, k, a, t, cat, or we can think of the word family, or as um, in the profession we call it, onset and rhyme, the onset consonant sound, k, with the rhyme, at, k, at. Now we could replace this consonant with another consonant, and for example, if we put a b there, b, at, bat. So now we're gonna be shifting our attention to the writing part. So in writing, the children do not see the letters. They have to create the sound that they hear in their head and then write that letter down. So they're going from the auditory to the visual. And the children have been taught a technique called pounding and tapping. I'm going to demonstrate the pounding and tapping to write words by using um, their finger tapping chart. This is the hand chart that they use to help them. Now this may seem a little backward um, and it takes the children a little time to master this and, and it, really some of them are still struggling with it but if they practice this at home they'll become much more fluent in it. This is for students who write with their right hand and you'll notice that the hand that they're going to be using to pound with is for the left hand. So I'll demonstrate that. So I'm right-handed, and if I wanted to write a word, I would put my hand on here, and I would say the word that I wanted to, to sound out, and let's say it's that same word that we just read, cat. So you pound that one syllable, cat, k, a, t, cat. So as the children go back, they can have their, they're connecting their brain and their hands. They're making this a, um, a kinetic activity. The more kinetic that you can make this, the muscle memory that you create, the more retention you'll have for the children in their writing. So let's, I'm gonna demonstrate that again. Pound that syllable, this is a one syllable word, cat, k, a, t, cat, k, k. Well, we know that k, can be C or K. K. Ah, ah, ah. That's our vowel A. T, t. Cat. So that's how it would be demonstrated with the uh, right handed person. So I'm going to de then do this demonstration as a left handed child. Now, the writing's not going to be very good on my part, but I will demonstrate that. So here, for the left-handed friend, their paper is on the left side and their pounding chart is on the right side. You'll notice that instead of using their pinky finger, they're using their thumb. Because as we read, we go left to right. So we want to emphasize that left to right with them. Okay, so when pounding and tapping for the left-handed friend, pound that syllable, cat. At cat. K at cat. So k k c a a a t t t cat. <laughs> so um this may not be showing up very well on my screen here, but um, you can see that the word is written out, 
by using the pounding and tapping left to right um, for the left-handed child. In this video series, you will I will be attaching these um, hand charts so you can print these off at home to support your child with this. Um, I also want to show, and again, this will be a little challenging to see, so I'll hold it up to the camera um, in case you can't see at the end. But we want to encourage the use of those sight words. So if they want to write a sentence about a cat, for example, the cat is black. All right, so we know that the is a sight word. So we don't need to pound and tap that one. And so let's write the word the. The. Okay, now this is where we pound and tap. Cat. K -a -t. Cat. Oh, put my finger space. Is oh that's one of my sight words is I can't remember how to spell that but maybe I could look that up um, and I will um, also attach a sight word chart to this so that you can um, print that off so that they can use the sight words as well is oh black I don't know that one black 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 bull ooh that's two sounds together bull Ah, 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 k, k, k. Oh, it could be a C or a K. I think it might be a K this time. K, k. Now you'll notice that that sentence is missing a few things. I intentionally did the spacing, um, but you'll notice that you your child might be writing without having the capital letter at the beginning and the period at the end. Have them go back and reread their sentence and look for any kind of mistake that they might have made. The cat is black. Did you forget anything in this sentence? Um, oh, I've got finger spacing, that looks good. Oh, wait a second. I should have a capital letter, uppercase letter at the beginning. Uppercase T. All right, well, oh, that's looking really good. Is there anything else that you might need at this? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yes, a period at the end. Period at the end. Now go back and read it. The cat is black. So this time I wrote the sentence out correctly, but sometimes your child might think they're writing something different than what they do actually write down. So make sure when you have them go back and read their sentences that they are reading what they actually wrote rather than what they think in their head. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Um, and if you have any questions, please let us know and we'll be happy to guide you in this process. Thank you.